Hey everybody, Paul Cram here. I had a friend on Twitter actually send me a test uh, that you can go to and you can find out which house at Hogwarts that you would fit into. So I thought I would just go ahead and do it. The first question asks you your age. Second question is what is your gender? Uh, when you die, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you and smile. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Think in admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me when I'm dead. It's when I'm alive that matters. I would want people to ask more stories about my adventures. Um, heads or tails? I don't, I don't know. Tails. Okay. Um, actually, my, my instinct was heads, so we'll change that to heads. Um... A morten, a mortenia is a portion that smells. Of what attracts a person, if it lured you, what would it smell of? A crackling log fire, new parchment, the sea, home. Hmm. Actually, a crackling log fire would attract me definitely. You're walking along and you reach a crossroad. One path leads to the sea. One through a forest, and a third to a castle. Which path would you choose? One path leads to the sea, one through a forest, and a third to a castle. I'd probably take the one to the sea. Um, dawn or dusk? Although, wait a second. Walking along the path, you reach across. One leads to the sea, forest, third to a castle. Yeah, we'll keep it sea. I was going to say forest, but... Um, you know what, I am going to change that to forest, because forest, I like spending a lot of time in the forest, anyway. Uh, it's fun to kind of explore. So is the sea, and so are the castle. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, seven, dawn or dusk? Oh, definitely dusk. If you could create a new po potion that would give you one thing, what would you choose? Love, glory, wisdom, or power? I'm going to do wisdom, because actually, you can get pretty smart that way. <laughs> uh, moon or stars? I'm going to say stars. What power would you like to have? Invisibility, super strength, the ability to change the past, ability to change your appearance at will, mind reading, the ability to talk to animals. I would not want mind reading because actually I don't really want to know what people are thinking because most of the times they're just thinking about themselves. So I don't really think I'd care. Uh... The ability to talk to animals, that would be kind of cool. Super strength, invisibility. I think I'd want to talk to animals, because that would be pretty sweet. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition, transfiguration, flying on a broomstick, hexes and jinxes, all about magical creatures, every area of magic I can kind of want to learn about all of it, so I'm going to say every area. <laughs> Which road tempts you the most? The sunny, grassy lane, the narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley, the twisting, leaf-strewn path in the woods, the cobbled street lined with ancient buildings. The sunny, grassy lane, I guess. Four boxes are placed before you. Which do you try? Which do you try and you open? The small tortoiseshell box, embellished with gold, inside which some small creature seems to be squeaking. <laughs> the gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key, marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. The ornate golden casket, standing on clawed feet, whose inscription warns, warms, warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. The small pewter box, unassuming and plain, with a scratched message upon it that reads, I only open for the worthy. Hmm. I would try the pewter box. You are walking along and hear a sound. What do you do? Tread cautiously with your hand on your concealed wand. Retreat and wait for the source of the sound to reveal itself while remembering defensive spells. Draw your wand and stand your ground. Seek out the source of the sound. 
You're walking along and hear a sound. What do you do? Tread cautiously with your hand on your concealed wand. How would you like to be remembered in history? Being wise, being good, being great, being bold. Not bold. Maybe. Bold. Yeah, we'll stick with bold. Which do you find most difficult to deal with? Boredom, cold, hunger, loneliness, being ignored. Boredom isn't... I don't usually... There's so much to do. Um, cold, hunger, loneliness, being ignored. I would have hunger. It'd be hard to deal with. Everything else, I think you could figure it out. Four goblets are placed in front of you. Which would you choose to drink? Foaming, silvery liquid that sparkles as though containing ground diamonds. <laughs> Smooth, thick purple drink that smells of chocolate and plums. Golden liquid, which makes sunspots dance around the room. Mysterious, inky black liquid, which gives the drinker strange visions. I would do the golden liquid. That sounds fun. Which would you not want others to call you? Ordinary, ignorant, cowardly, or selfish? I would not want them to call me... I'm fine being called ordinary. I'm okay being called selfish. We all are every now and then. Um, cowardly or ignorant? I wouldn't really like either of those. So... Cowardly or ignorant? Ignorant... Cowardly. I would not want to be called cowardly. Forest or river? Hmm. River. Black or white? Not linked to the color of skin or race. Um. Black. A muggle confronts you and says that you, they are sure you are a witch or wizard. Do you ask what makes them think so? Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder about the truth. Agree and ask them if they want a free sample of a jinx. Offer to call a professional doctor. <laughs> Agree and walk away, leaving them wondering about the truth. Yeah, let's do that. Left or right? I don't know. Right. Which magical creatures would you most like to study? Centaurs, merpeople, ghosts, vampires, werewolves, or trolls? Centaurs, merpeople, ghosts... Vampires, werewolves, or trolls? Hmm. I think it would be merpeople. Which would you rather be? Liked, imitated, praised, envied, feared, trusted? Trusted or liked? Trusted or liked? I want to be liked. One of you... One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come to the top of class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not classman has used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Why and say or don't know. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you're both in the same house, any points you lose will be regained by you. You not wait to be asked if you knew somebody was using it for breaking quill, you tell the teacher before the exam started. Hmm. What would I do? I would probably do number three. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Violin, trumpet, piano, or drum? Piano. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let you pass. Do you attempt to confuse the troll into letting three of you pass without fighting? Suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Suggest that all three of you should fight. Volunteer to fight. I think I would try to confuse the troll. <laughs> Which nightmare would frighten you most? Standing on top of something very high and suddenly realizing that there are no hand or footholds, nor any barrier to stop you from falling. No, that wouldn't scare me all that much. An eye at the keyhole of a dark windowless room in which you are locked. Hmm. 
Walking up to find that neither your friends nor your family have any idea who you are. Being forced to speak in such a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand you and everyone laughs at you. Mm. I think walking up to find that neither your friends nor family have any idea who you are. Hmm. All right. Let me see how many. There's just a couple more left. Um, a troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures, including a cure for dragon pox, which the headmaster has nearly perfected. Student records going back 1,000 years. Mysterious handwritten book full of strange ruins. Believed to belong to Merlin. Which would you say first? I would save the dragon pox cure. You entered an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver leaf tree bearing golden apples? The fat red toadstools that appear to be talking to each other? The bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling? The statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye? The bubbling pool. Alright, let's see what we get. dun da da Gryffindor? No. No. I don't want to be Gryffindor. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, well. You know what house I actually want to be more than Gryffindor? I want to be Hufflepuff. I wonder how I would get to be Hufflepuff. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so I got Gryffindor. I don't want to be Gryffindor, though. I want to be Hufflepuff. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. All right, if you guys want to take the quiz, I will put a link in there, too, and you can take it um, and, and go from there. And, yeah, all right, talk to you all later. Bye.